I randomly put every single killer in DBD into this bracket to find out who is the master at using Devour Hope. Here's how everything works. I will only be allowed to run two perks, Hex on Dying and Hex Devour Hope, but for each individual killer, I'll be able to use the strongest add-ons that I think will be able to help me win. Each token of Devour Hope that I get will equal a point, and each Mori I get once I hit five tokens will equal a point, for a total of nine possible points per game. For this matchup, it was Blight versus Billy, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. That's a really good totem spawn. This is not the best totem, but we only need one. We only need one to go the distance. Bracket was completely random. Greaser can't confirm. He watched me randomize. I'll make that. You don't make that. You saw my totem though. I gotta be able to get away from the hook. Oh, I fucked that up so badly. Don't go near that totem. you do it that totem is in such a good spot bro it's like kind of hidden by that tree all right yeah that totem we knew was gonna go all right and we get it down before uh, that unhook, so they don't know we have Devour yet. It's perfect. One M one her, so we get the insta down. The haste from Devour, I think. Oh, it doesn't get us that almost. Totem's good. I was too close for a half a second and she and they unhooked, bro. Oh my god, I'm fucking fuming. Oops. I can't believe that, bro. I was literally too close for a half a second. It's five. I've seen this chick yet? <laughs> Light brain. Oh my god. She dropped Shaq! No fucking way, bro! Good patience. Good patience. Oh, Shaq. Oh my god, I'm fucking awful. Alright, you just gotta play this smart. Beautiful. Beautiful.
The LED and this chick were the two that were going for my totems. So I'm gonna hope the other two don't know. I did another gen on the far side. Light with a very strong showing. The dead odd. No way she gets hatched off the dead odd. No way. Oh, she doesn't. <laughs> Light going perfect. That totem was just fucking perfect, man. Not near gens, kind of secluded, hidden behind a tree. Like, it was just. That's exactly what you're looking for. Alright, I need to lock in. Both totems downstairs. Luckily, we have the add-ons for this map, so we can drift. Nice. Oh, I almost dropped down. I gotta stay away. We can get these pallets down early, that would be clutch. Nice, a little greedy. Or I'm afraid to go to that hook. I'm okay. I was afraid it was too close. far enough away here. This is actually perfect. Can Billy pull it off? All three of them are here. Holy shit. If I had like 3% more turn rate, I get that. Tragic. gonna see our totem. Not good. Not good. Wait, is he still here? He is, okay. <laughs> That's okay. I need to come back down to check our totems. If that hit, that would that would have just been a bonus. Perfect. Oh come on! I thought it was gonna give it to me. the cooldown. Oh, that's five stacks. I thought that was only four. Holy shit, we can Mori. Alright. We gotta just go for it. And hope they don't, uh... Hope they don't cleanse. Billy does have a quick Mori. Hurry up! Oh my god. Oh my god. If Billy gets this perfect four, it's definitely gonna be quicker. Or perfect nine, whatever we're calling it. Gonna come down the hatch. 
Fuck it, bro. We've already lost the exit gate game once on this map tonight. Billy does have a little bit more mobility, though. She's here. Oh, my God. Oh. My God. Oh, my God. Billy did it. Billy fucking did it. Blight is out of this bitch. Holy shit. 723 time doesn't even matter both of billy's totems were up blight lost one of his but he did do a quicker end as well and just like that billy advances and knocks out blight